Good Saturday morning, everybody. My name is Wes Wood, and this is Old Wood Outdoors. Today, we're going to make some wild hog pork sausage. Y'all hang on, and we'll get into it in just a minute. All right, you may recall that um, I killed uh, three hogs at my hunting camp um, back during hunting season. And uh, I feel like it's, you know, our responsibility uh, as sportsmen to uh, eat the game that we harvest and turn it into something good. So today, uh, we're gonna make some uh, patty sausage out of some of that wild hog. And uh, so looking forward to doing that. And uh, y'all hang with me and we'll get that done. Anyway, first thing to do before we get going is to make sure you know you keep things clean as you go. I'm going to spray this table off, uh, which is topped with starboard, which makes things easy to clean up. And um, so it's a pretty neat table. I got it uh, about a month ago whenever I was looking for some other stuff for the hunting camp uh, at a guy who was selling out at an industrial park uh, down the road from us. And uh, he had this table and uh, since I'd bought other stuff from him, he just gave me this table. Now, it had a um, pretty rough looking tabletop on it, but uh, uh, the basic table is made out of steel and it has uh, casters, uh, locking casters on it, so it's really great. I can do this work on the meat and uh, I can roll this thing outside the garage and power wash it, do whatever I want to do. So. Uh, this has been, um, this table is a, a big, big help to uh, my meat processing um, operation. So anyway, let's get going. First thing you need to do is uh, make sure everything is, is clean. I'm using some uh, Clorox to clean this table off initially. And uh, I won't stand here and make you watch me uh, clean off a table, but the next thing that we'll use is some Ida 4, which is a, um, after I clean, uh, dry off the Clorox, we'll put some Ida 4 on, on here to disinfect everything, and we'll be using this Ida 4. Uh, you mix it uh, a small amount out of the main bottle and put it into a spray bottle and um, just disinfect it as you go. Of course, we'll be wearing gloves and so forth. And uh, so keep everything clean as you're doing. Uh, you don't want contaminated meat. Okay, we're all cleaned up as far as the table goes. So next thing to do, the next thing to do is to weigh this meat out so we can figure out, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of fat to it. And although this is pork and you see that it's got some fat in it, um, it's from the hindquarters of, of these hogs that I killed and uh, they are not, uh, you know, these hogs are pretty lean so I'm going to add a little bit of fat that I saved from the backs of these hogs and uh, add it as well. Let me turn on my scale. Alright, it's zeroed. Scale says 17.7585 pounds. All right, so we'll write that down. Now let me see how much uh, fat. I've got some more in the freezer, but. Uh, I thought this might be enough. All right, so we've got 5.2 pounds of, of fat. So let's just calculate that out. Seventeen point seven five plus five point two 
equals essentially 23 pounds. So we've got 23 pounds total. So 5.2 or 17.75 or, uh, divided by 23. That's going to be, uh, you know, 77% lean. The rest of it, 23% fat. So we can live with that. We want about 25%, 25-30%. So we're going to go with that. I'll get back with y'all in a minute um, as soon as we get ready to start grinding. All right, before I get started grinding, I uh, just want to show y'all what kind of seasoning I'm going to be using. And I've eaten sausage with this seasoning before, and it's uh, it's great. Uh, legs uh, seasoning company comes out of Alabama. Um, I've got several different uh, styles of this stuff, but uh, the main one is the one on the right there that uh, most people get is for patty sausage like we're making today. The other one is, uh, is as well, they're, they're the same sausage uh, seasoning except one is um, hotter than the other. My family does, and I polled them this morning, they want me to go ahead and make the hot pork sausage. And so that's what we'll be going with. If you notice, uh, this one has a net weight of eight ounces. This one has a net weight of nine ounces. And I'm thinking a difference is one ounce of cayenne pepper added to it. So we're gonna go with the one on the left and uh, that's, either one of these bags will season 25 pounds of meat. Um, if you remember from a moment ago, we've got 23. So I think that's close enough. We're just gonna go ahead and empty the whole bag in once we get the, get the meat uh, in this lug. I'll separate it out and get that fat cut up. When we get all that done, I'll get back with you and we're gonna start grinding some right, sausage. Folks, this, uh, this meat is super cold and that's where you want it to be. Um, like I said before, this, this seasoning packet is for 25 pounds. Uh, we're close enough for 23 pounds. We're just gonna uh, mix it in with a with pork, uh, that is, uh, as I said, this meat is awfully cold. We are going to grind this meat twice. I uh, hadn't decided yet whether I'm going to go through a, through a medium plate, then through a fine. I'm thinking I'll just go through a, a, a medium plate twice. I kind of like that consistency, but we'll see. I think a lot of people go through, um, like to take it to a finer plate, but uh, I kind of like the little bit coarser grind. So we're going to get this all mixed in and then we're going to set up the grinder. And the grinding of course will help mix this into the meat as well in time we grind it twice. That seasoning will be well mixed into this meat. All right, get back with you in, in just a moment. All right, folks, I've pulled my um, grinder head out of, the, out of the freezer, nice and cold. Meat's still real nice and cold. Let's turn this thing on and, and get to grinding.
All right, folks, we got through with the first grind, so uh, I'm just gonna run a little bit of ice through it to clear the rest of it, clear the meat out of it, and then we'll start on the second grind. All right, that's good enough. I'll let meat side there. So we'll start on the second grind here um, momentarily. I think I'm gonna put this back in the freezer for the meat back in the freezer for just a bit. Uh, you can see we got a really good grind. It looks great. And uh, we're gonna put that back in the freezer for just a bit. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and grind it through the fine plate. Um, but I need to get it good and cold so that, again, I mean, it's plenty cold right now, but I want to have it almost frozen. Right, we're going to go ahead and do a second grind on this, on this meat. Let's get going. And we are running it through the finer plate. So I'm probably going to have to use my, my poker here. It's uh, grinding nicely. I'll get back with you when we run all this through. It's going to be slower than the first grind, but we're going we're going to get her done. All right, folks, we're about done with the grind. We're going to run a little bit of ice through this to clear the grinder, put the rest of that meat out. Plus, I'm going to fry me a little bit of this because uh, I'm hungry. All right, so I made uh, some patties uh, that we're going to eat here in a few minutes. I'm taking a break, and uh, I'm going to put this meat back in the freezer before I stuff it for about 30 minutes and let it get ice cold again. This patty maker uh, works really well, and uh, we're fixing to fry some up. I tell you what, that sausage sure does smell good cooking. Uh, I'm making uh, some Mrs. B's frozen biscuits are in the oven right now. And uh, my wife's out planting flowers. And so she'll be in here directly and a uh, college boy at home. So we're going to find out what they think about it. All right. Check in a bit. All right, my, my taste tester. Brenda, what do you what do you say? Thumbs up, man. Good All stuff. Right. College boy at home. Andrew. Um, I have yet to taste it. Yeah, and you got cheese on yours. That kind of ruins the effect, but... Um, good stuff. Yeah, I had to taste it myself. It's pretty all good, good, so... Anyway, after this, nothing left but to uh, put the rest of it up in in packs. So I'm gonna wait. For All right, folks. After that uh, sausage biscuit, I was about to fall asleep on the couch, so I figured I better get up and get after it um, and finish putting these uh, this patty sausage in some bags. I need to make sure this time that I check off that it's sausage. 
because uh, I didn't do it on the burger. And so, you know, I want to be able to tell the difference between the deer burger and the sausage when it's, when it's in the uh, freezer. So we're gonna go ahead and get going on this. And uh, when we finish up, we'll see how many bags. I'm gonna try not to overstuff them this time. I did on the burger. I've got some pound and a half bags up there. A pound is about enough for us for either burger or sausage. So let me get going on this. Should be a little over 20 pounds of sausage. We uh, we probably didn't eat but a half a pound up there for lunch a minute ago. One thing I forgot to get out, I just remembered, is uh, my tape machine. I'll get that out in just a second. So I can tape these bags up this sausage stuff are full and as you can see I, I cleaned the table off and re-disinfected it. It's important to keep your stuff clean. Don't overstuff them, wood. Don't need a pound and a half of sausage. Should have put me on a new glove, rather. I should have um, stuffed that sausage with, uh, in the, put the sausage in the stuffer with my left hand instead of my turning hand. I go through a lot of these. These are really good gloves. Made by an outfit called uh, cleanspaceproject.com, but I got them off Amazon. Pretty good, pretty good gloves. Hello gear. Really like this thing. All right, there's a pound of sausage, I'm ready to go. I just got to remember to mark it off as sausage so we don't confuse it with the burger. Anyway, I'll get back with y'all when I finish up. Hopefully, we got 20 of these, not about 15. All right, folks, we're at the end of the line. I got these things from Walton's and they're, they call them eggs, but what the purpose of them is supposed to be is to, if you got a little bit of meat left in the stuffer, which you always do, um, that these things, if you put them in the stuffer, they'll mash the rest of the meat out and help, of course, with cleanup, but also get the last bit of the meat out. So. 
we're fixing to try it out and see if it works. So here goes nothing. All right, I threw all three of them in there. Let's see what happens. So there's probably enough left to fill that, fill that bag there that's in this tube and so forth. So we will see. We'll put it in low gear and see what it does. jigs is not inside this bag. Let's look and see. Looks like there's still some sausage in the stuffer so in the tube. So it looks like the dog may get some of that. I should have taken a brush and push that out. I should have known maybe those eggs wouldn't push that out. So let's see how good a job it did on the bottom. Well, I got one egg. One of them's down in the stuffer hole. The other one must be, <laughs> the other one must be out in the tube. I don't know, I'm not so sure about these things right here, but we, let's see, yeah, I feel it. So, I'm not sure how much you gain with this, with those eggs, but it's a neat concept. I'll try it again next time. But uh, yeah, I've got some meat in this tube that I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah, the tube still slapped full of meat. And uh, obviously we got, a, we got an egg right there. There it comes. And we still got some meat in there, so I don't know about this. Like I said, we'll try it again next time. But anyway, hooty hoo. We are uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Looks like I still overstuffed some because I should have had probably at least 20 bags. But hey, like my college boy used to say when he was about that high, sausage every day. So we got plenty. <laughs> We got plenty of sausage. So, anyway, y'all have a good one. Keep it between the ditches because we can't do it without you. Hooty hoo. What the world needs is more wild hog sausage. <laughs>